Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing this, which is like my first official attempt of a cut crease. I think that it turned out pretty good and I really love it. So if you're interested in seeing how I did it, please keep on watching. So if you can hear some weird sort of sucking noise or whatever you can call it, it's um, our new cat. Um, sucking or eating <laughs> on our other cat's foot. And I am going to start this time with foundation and as usual I am using the Cover Up Foundation and Concealer by Isadora. And I am taking my Beauty Blender to dab it on. There we go. Next up will be concealer and as usual I am going in with the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer. And I'm blending that in using my beauty blender. Um, next up will be powder and as usually I am using the sheer finish loose powder from Lumine. Um, I'm gonna grab a little bit on my beauty blender. A little bit. And I'm just gonna set my under eyes with this. Next up, I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush and brush this all over my face. And now we are going to do the eyes. I'm so nervous about this part, just cause... Oh, I don't know how this is gonna go, actually. Um, I'm just gonna grab the... Ultra Professional Eyeshadow Flawless Palette from Makeup Revolution and I'm gonna go in I'm gonna grab this dark color right here called Pure Chocolate and I'm gonna put this in my crease well, I'm gonna try I don't know, we'll try and use this brush I was actually inspired to do this when I watched the affordable ultra glam look by Nikki Tutorials and I love her so go check her out if you haven't already but she does like the most gorgeous cut creases I am going to get a fluffier brush and I am going to use the color paper which is this one and I'm gonna try and just smudge these edges out now this color is so looking <sighs> loose I don't know what's it called <laughs> So now I am going to try and cut it out and I'll just put a bit of concealer on my hand. I'll just take a little brush, this is the 301 from LH Cosmetics and I'll just go ahead and try. 
pero ano eh. I kinda did it. Like it might not be the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. But totally did it. <laughs> wow. Once you look at that, that is two somewhat successful cut creases. I'm proud of me. Like dang. I am going to take this color, which is soft glow, and I'm just gonna put this. Ew, it's so powder powdery. But I'm gonna put this everywhere where I just put the concealer, kind of to hold it in place, and also just to like light that area up. And now it's freaking dark in here because the sun came and fucked shit up. But yeah. Next up, I am taking the Very Me Eyeliner and this whoosh. Does this have a color name? Doesn't say if it has a name, but it is like a... I guess like a green liner. Hi, kitty. What you want? You know? Cool. Well, this is our no kid, eh? So, this is Elrond. He's so beautiful, aren't you? Yeah. Good, 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 good. So, I'm going to take this and try and do an eyeliner. eyeliner. I'm going with this. And we'll see how this turns out. It could be a catastrophe. Yes. And I fucked it up the first thing again. Oh my damn. Next up, I'll be doing my brows. Using the Anastasia Beauty Express for brows and eyes, as always. And of course, using the brow gel by Tonya Crooks. It's the eyebrow gel. And I'll just run this through so they stay in place. My eyebrow hairs are so long. They need a good trim. And I am using the Emotion Allowed <laughs> Emotion Allowed mascara from Icona Milano. Milano? 
and I am putting this on my upper and lower lashes. Oh my god. <laughs> I totally forgot to put something underneath. Um, so I'll just take a small brush and go in with the color pure chocolate again and I'm just gonna put this underneath my lash line. There we go, and I will be putting on some lashes off camera. It's a no-name brand, <laughs> so it's not very good. But yeah, I'll be putting on some lashes off camera, and then I'll be back to do the rest of my face. And there I've got my lashes on. They look, they look okay. <laughs> Next up, I am going to contour. And I will be using the and I will be using the color Mafe and maybe a bit of cigar from the LH Cosmetics Infinity Palette. You guys know by now that I love this palette. I love it. And I'm taking a bit of a smaller brush for my nose and I'm using the color my face. Something like that. Next up, I will be doing some blush and I will be going in with the color Andromeda, like always. Why do I like only use the same colors? Is that too boring? Tell me. Because I'll change it up. Next, I will, I think I'll mix Virgil and Milky Way and I'll just use both of them. Like that. Um, next up, I'll be doing my lips, but I have no idea what to do. Like, should I go light or dark or red or black? I don't know. I feel like maybe the pink. I'll try it out, and if it's terrible, I'll take it off. This is the it's the Girl Power Liquid Lipsticks. So it's a matte liquid lipstick. This is in the color Peach Please. And it's from the Beauty Crop. I believe this is an, a British brand, right? Oh my god, that's pink. <laughs> Like, I am not a pink person, so... Like, I don't like pink that much.
but I just got this so I thought I'd try it out. I don't know, it doesn't look that bad on camera, but when I look in my mirror, it is so pink. I don't know. I will have. I'll, mm, I'll have to think about it a bit. So obviously, I changed my mind, and I will instead be going in with old trustworthy uh, NYX lip lingerie in Beauty Mark. So it's the the brown one, it's kind of brown. I don't know if this will look good either. So you know, but I'll, I'll give it a shot. Otherwise, I'll just. Take it off! Again! <laughs> I must say that I like this um, a lot better than the pink but that might just be because I'm not used to wearing pink because I don't like pink that much like not pink lips I can wear pink on my eyes or something like that but I am not comfortable with having pink lips so I am much more comfortable in this um, and I hope that you like it too <laughs> but of course you can wear any color you like um, I'm just not comfortable in it so I will just do my hair and then I'll show you the results. So this, you guys, is the finished look. I personally love this. I think it's gorgeous. <laughs> I love that the eyeliner is not black as it typically would be. And I I love a dark lip. That's just, that's just it. <laughs> Anyways, I hope that you like this video too. And if you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.